Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I bought myself something. And I'm gonna do an unboxing with you today and then I'm gonna explain why I bought this thing because I'm really excited about it. So what I bought myself was a car refrigerator slash freezer. And this is for the van and our adventures this summer. Now, what I have been using is this cooler. And it's a um, Moby Cool cooler. Um, and it works on 12 volt, or you can plug it in. So 12 volt, 12 volt or 24 volt. And it has worked okay. But the problem with this thing is that it's loud. I've never tried to connect it to a portable battery because last summer, the most powerful port most power let's try that again in english most powerful portable battery bank that i had was this ninja bat and it's a 600 and it wasn't going to run this thing very long at all but now i have my good arm workout vitamin 1500 Watt, and actually well i'll tell you guys about that in our next video so now that i have something more powerful i know i can run something like a fridge this has been fine it's got a separate compartment for um drinks and stuff like that but the problem with this is that it's really loud this fan in here works full time it's not like it's got a thermostat in it like a compressor fridge would it's just full-time running and so what i was doing was i would run it when i was driving or if i was plugged into power i would have it plugged in during the day but when i was parked if i didn't have power i had it off and i put ice in it or ice packs and if i wasn't plugged and even if i was plugged into power at night i had to unplug it because there's no way i could sleep in the van with this thing running all the time and I'm going to plug it in in a second. You're going to see how loud this is. Uh, and you'll hopefully what I've got is going to be a heck of a lot quieter. I've done my research. You know I did. And what I bought is a bodega car refrigerator slash freezer. This is a 20, 24 liter, I believe it is. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me check. This is a 27 quart uh, car refrigerator slash freezer. You can make it one either or. It can't, it can't be both at the same time. But it has excellent ratings. Uh, I got it at a really good price. How much did I pay? Hold on. I paid just over $200 for this Canadian. And the thing I love about it is that it's... So supposed to be super quiet and energy efficient. It comes with an app so you can control it from your phone. You have the ability to set the temperature. And because it's got a little uh, compressor in there, once the temperature you know, gets up past what you've set it at, the compressor will kick in, it'll start to cool. And once it gets to that temperature, it will shut itself off. So it's not running full time, which is gonna be huge for sound and energy. You can actually set this on eco mode, which means it uses the least amount of energy possible. And so I think this is gonna be great. So we're gonna unbox it. Uh, but the first thing, yeah, we're gonna unbox it and then I will plug it in and we will test how loud it is. So let's move this out of the way. Yes, Sophie, let's have some coffee. I've been seriously thinking about getting a camping fridge, well, for a while now, but I hadn't had the chance to do a whole lot of camping, what with all of the moving of the tiny house in the last couple of years, so I just didn't, couldn't uh, justify spending the money on it. It's unfortunate there's so much packaging that comes with these with anything that you order nowadays, but luckily I do have a recycling 
center, not far. So I will be taking all of this there. Ooh. I ordered the orange. I thought it was pretty. And if I'm honest with myself, it was, this color was the least expensive. I don't really care about color, but I did think it was pretty. So let's get this sucker out of here. Let me put this behind the camera. Whoops, you okay? Good. All right. I've never done an unboxing, so I'm not an expert at this. So this is a 27 quart. And the inside is smaller than my cooler. But that's because of how well insulated these sides are. And I had heard that. Um, and it's not plugged in. But there is a little light in here. So when you open it, the light comes on. You can see what's in there, which is kind of cool at night. Um, and I believe this side is just for s small things. I'm not sure from what I understand, this doesn't get quite as cold as the bits over here, but they wanted to use the space above the compressor so it wasn't wasted, which I appreciate. So what does it come with? It comes with our instruction manual, which I will per peruse. I am a believer in reading the instruction manual and then a 12 volt plug and then the brick for plugging it in if you're plugging it into the wall so this is what will be used um, this is what i would plug into my battery bank sophie's going to try and get into the box sophie come on cats cats and boxes they just can't help themselves. So, now the exciting part of this is that, yeah, I could have used that cooler, plugged it in uh, to the cigarette lighter while I was driving and then put ice in it. But the thing about that cooler is that it doesn't have a drain at the bottom, which is annoying. This one surprisingly does. And so, I wanted something, what I was finding was it was such a hassle. If you're out for three, four days, your ice, you know, is gonna melt and then everything gets wet, which I really hate when it comes to using ice in coolers. And, uh, you know, the temperature varies. Now, because I don't eat meat, I don't have dairy in there, I don't have eggs, I don't have meat in there. I'm less concerned about food and certain and temperature fluctuations. However, in the summertime, it gets hot and I want to have my coffee, my almond or oat milk creamer, my oat milk and my food stay nice and cool. And this is going to give me the ability to do that for multiple days. Because again, I now have a battery bank that can run it. And from everything I've read on the reviews, this sips power in the eco mode, which is what we want. So I can have it running all night and in the daytime, um, I can plug my battery bank if it needs it into either the cigarette lighter, the 12 volt plug in the car or into the solar panels and set them outside and recharge that. Uh, so I can go out for multiple days, be off grid, be away from power and still keep my food and drinks and wine and coolers cold, which is great. So let me plug this in and we'll take a listen to both of them, both the old cooler with the fan and this new compressor fridge. I've got them both plugged in. I've got the bodega plugged into my Vitamin. Turn that on. And I've got the cooler plugged into the Ninja Bat. Now, as soon as I turn the power onto this, this will start running because it does not have a thermostat. Um, and this one will not until I turn it on. So let me, it's got the power on. Let's just, let's play with this. Let's turn it on. How do I turn it on? Oh, how do I turn it on? Okay.
And you can hear how loud that is. Like that's, I mean, that's fine while you're driving. I wouldn't want this running at night while I was trying to sleep because it's so loud. Now it works, it keeps food nice and cool, uh, but I wouldn't be able to sleep with this in the van. There's just no way. So I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, and let's just look at how much it's pulling. And it's pulling 57 watts. 56, 57 watts. Now keep in mind that that stays on 24 or seven or full time, right? This never kicks off when it hits temperature. There's no way to set the temperature. It's just this sound nonstop. Now let's turn this off because ain't nobody want that sound. Now, I, I do have the bodega plugged in to my Vitamin, as you can see. So let's turn this on. Uh, I haven't figured out how to turn it to Celsius yet. I have to do that on the app on my phone, and, and I need to get them connected. But in the meantime, uh, I know that 40 degrees Fahrenheit is about just over 4 degrees Celsius, and that's what you want your fridge to be. So what I've got it set at, I've got it set on eco mode on low. Can you hear that? Can you hear that hum? That's all you hear. So much different. And what is it pulling? It's pulling 37 watts, oops, sorry, glare, 37 watts. And right now the temperature inside the cooler is 53 degrees fahrenheit but once it gets to that 40 degrees it will kick off and because this is so well oh look at that light how cool is that hold on let me pull this out a bit that's so cool that the light comes on and once because this is so well insulated it stays this is what all the reviewers said it stays nice and cool in here so this doesn't actually have to kick in all that often like that little latch too so it's nice and secure it's 11 25 right now it's 53 degrees fahrenheit in the cooler we're just going to see how long it takes for it to get to 40 degrees fahrenheit which is uh four degrees just over four degrees celsius well i ran to the washroom <laughs> and when i came back uh it was 37 degrees fahrenheit i think it probably varies but it's still just set for 40. um so it is been 14 minutes and this has got down to that temperature and i would imagine oh yeah oh you can really feel it not so much on this side but i knew that this gets just kind of cool this is the fridge or you can make it a freezer the compressor has kicked off inside the fridge so it, it the one watt is just what's sort of keeping this lit and there's no sound because of course the compressor's off. So guys, that is my review of the Bodega car fridge freezer. I just wanna say this is not sponsored. I bought that sucker with my own money and I think it was money well spent. I am really looking forward to taking it out. Hey Sophie. I'm really looking forward to taking it out camping this summer on our adventures because I think it's going to make all the difference. No more messing around. Ooh, what is with that? <laughs> no more messing around with ice and that noisy cooler or anything like that. Having a fridge is going to make all the difference, especially if I want to be out for multiple days and I'm not plugged in. Um, having a power bank that will run that is amazing. I don't think it takes a whole lot of power, especially because it's got a thermostat and the compressor kicks off once it hits its temperature. So it's very efficient that way. Now it has an app that connects to your phone by Bluetooth so you can change the temperature and check to see what temperature your fridge is. I haven't got it to connect yet. I'm just gonna have to read the instructions um, and see how that is. Next. Sunday, I'm going to do an unboxing of something that was sent to me. Um, just 
which really actually surprised me because I, I, I'm just a little channel, right? With not a ton of subscribers. But when this company reached out and said, hey, we'd like to send you this thing. Would you like to get it? Would you like it? And I'm like, heck yeah. Um, and you'll see what I mean. And they didn't say, we'd like you to do a review. We'd like you to say this or that. Nope, they just wanted to send it to me. So we're gonna do an unboxing. And um, then I'm gonna do some testing. And you'll see, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Just a teaser so that you come back next Sunday. So anyways, guys, uh, we hope you guys are doing well. We hope you're staying safe. Remember in a world where you can be anything, be kind, especially to yourself. I love you and I'll see you next time.